Sorry. Oh, dude. <laughs> so I've ended up adding graphics to everybody's shirts. Now, if we know anything about foam cannons, it's that they get us 300,000 views <laughs> on our other <laughs> channel. She's shaking off because she's nervous to be on camera. I don't want to be on the YouTube. I am so excited. buds <laughs> we just can't let that go unfortunately so uh this morning we went and finalized some i guess you could say specifications on a radiator yep for which project though? yep yep nine lives man is coming back heck yeah dude so you guys haven't seen this in a while but if you've been around for a bit you know this machine it's a uh wildcat uh 4X, X4. I yeah, like a 2013 Wildcat, which is generally regarded as just a piece of sh Right. <laughs> but this one, shop build for Evolution Power Sports. Super cool car, super nice. Z1 swap, tons of power. So last time we had it out, we cobbled a radiator on it from an 850 Sportsman quad just to get it running. And after a few passes, it would get hot, which is not good because race day is coming and the plan for this thing is basically just non-stop hot laps of death man for about eight hours right so all day long if you guys don't know what a z1 swap is we've had a lot of new subscribers recently so we'll talk about this a little bit a z1 is a twin snowmobile engine and this thing has a giant turbo on it has launch control and it's a four seat but it only has got two seats yeah giant turbo i mean it's a built motor like this thing is it's a bad boy it's, set up to it's over there with a bunch of stuff piling oh yeah up, so. So we do have the Pusher 9000 here, which is a, a thing that we set up. Nick, have you seen the Pusher 9000 yet? I've heard yet? about it, that's pretty cool. It's a good unit. It turns out it worked out well. And the Cletus machine is just fresh, waiting on a bunch of nice parts. So she's totally clean. But this is nine lives right here. So the reason we call it nine lives is because Cat, in a way, is sort of dead. Yeah, man, they're not having a great time, but this thing, I mean, the dust is, so hard heavy you can't even write on it but this but, is it so this is a 2014 wildcat 4x and it's got this giant turbo motor it runs on 110 octane trick yeah <laughs> and like doug like doug said it was built by evolution power sports before they really started modifying anything that came factory with a turbo right so this predated all of that stuff wow yeah it is dusty yeah so we're gonna clean this thing up for some reason the brakes went out on it so it doesn't have any brakes currently so we're going to fix the brakes we're going to clean it up we're going to maybe put the rear fenders back on it and then uh, the radiator for it is going to be done uh later today so we can pick that up later today or tomorrow get that in here and then uh start sending it heavy yeah, crank this thing up and see what she's really got probably looking at a tire swap on the back don't know why my phone just started playing music classic phone dude Come on. <laughs> oh! anyway <laughs> We'll cut and then we'll uh, just get this thing out of here. All right, sounds good. All right. Fingers, let's see. It's gonna start. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good this thing sat for like three years. We put fuel in it and then it started. So, although it just doesn't have a gas cap, so the fuel could be evaporated. Who really yeah, knows? Dude. It's probably been three months. I don't know. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, dude. Yeah, breaks the story of the floor. We got power. It's gonna be good. Send it. It's going down. Says it's got fuel on it. There you go. Good unit. The clutching on this is pretty aggressive. You gotta rev it up to like 4,500 before it even begins to want to move. Is real. Oh, tough break. The belt doesn't even want to start engaging. There it is. <laughs> That's what beast mode needs, man. I need that clutch engagement. Do 
side-by-side -side world like as you can see it is ridiculous whoa <laughs> i love that car was that, let's get the dude? defender dude let's defend up there man that car is the best dude i swear like it could be really fast if we do it right it is really fast that's I mean, the thing, it is really fast. It's yeah. just missing a lot of stuff. It looks incredibly outdated, yeah. which it, that's because it is. It is outdated, but the motor is just a power plant of destruction, dude. It's amazing. Yeah, it's basically an absolute beast. So, <sighs> really excited to start working on this thing again and get it going. Because I, a lot of you guys probably don't know since you're newer subscribers and you weren't here for the, the dark days. But, I remember those days. Yeah. I remember those days very vividly. I had three of these type of cars, three of these Wildcats, and they were the two-seat version, and they were just somewhere beyond unreliable. Like, whatever beyond unreliable is, that's what they were. It was another level of unreliable. But Look at Doug's easy. pushing. Come on. Did you use the bumper of death? I got you, Doug. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Good spot for the Defender. I think we can shoot the gap. Door just open. There's a ghost in that car, dude. We got her, dude. Oh, man. I think the only way to get into the garage is with launch control. I'm afraid we would actually go into the garage. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, so details on this car, like we said, two cylinder, big old turbo up there. It's uh, air to water intercooled, and it's also got a transaxle off of a Razor XP1000. A little bit of a hodgepodge. Overall, pretty neat though, man. Yeah. Pretty neat. It's got the nice turner axles in it. It's, uh, you know, you can switch the mapping with a switch up on the dash. I think, yeah. what's it make when it's all the way turned up? Like 280? 280-ish, almost 300 horsepower. Launch control? It's not, not neat. <laughs> yeah, so pretty, pretty thing cool. Cleaned up and running right and staying cool and then just put some big paddles on the back of it. and Just send it. Yeah. Like this could be fun in the dunes. It's not gonna carve dunes because it pretty much body rolls all to hell. But like Silver Lake, just going over the dunes, right? That might be okay. It's like sloping a snow or uh, um, a snowboard. It's like, oh yeah, you're just curving, it's like dude. Curving, dude. Hitting the fresh pow pow. <laughs> well, what's the plan here, Duggo? Yeah, dude. Just look at it for a little bit. Just look at it. I think we want to get the fenders on it. Yeah. So that that fuel inlet actually is functioning. We should have brought those with us. We Maybe did just, not uh, do that. Check. They're in there. Check oh, no, fluids. Your windshield's in there. And we gotta, saw it. we gotta figure out what happened to the brakes. The brakes on this thing were fine. It sat in the barn, got in it one day, the brakes totally gone. Hmm. So maybe explore that. Yeah, we can find things. something. Just tapping things. Yeah, get a little screwdriver out. Dude. Yeah. It's gotta come back. And we gotta get a light bar for up here or take this off. Hmm. Probably just take that maybe off. Maybe just take that off. Look, it's even got like the green washers. Like they thought of everything. Gosh dang, man. still got the pods though. Yeah, I got the pods. Got the big one up top. Does that actually work? Oh my god. Oh yeah, the pods work? Oh yeah, look at that. They do work. All the light, man. Wow. The switch is still in there for the light bar. Dang. Tough break. Just a good Glamis ripper, dude. Just. I'm not sure about this making it to Glamis, but I would not not drive it there. Questionable. By questionable, I mean I don't think this should go to Glamis. Completely but, uh, impossible. Yeah. Just not <laughs> Another to time in life, maybe yeah. you know, two, yeah. three, four decades from now, we could take it to Glamis dude. Well, we'll get going on some of this stuff and give you guys an update in just a few minutes. This is trick. 
All right, so Doug uh, filled this up with, man, is this dot three? Dot I think three, man. Nothing back like when this was made, this required <laughs> dot three. Filled it up completely with fluid. Turns out it's just just something not working. I mean, it's just the fluid had run out from somewhere. The completely empty now, so we're refilling it. We're gonna bleed it all, find where the leak was. But you know, Nick started pumping the brakes, and we went through a manual bleeding process, and we said this. It's taking too much time. We just need to go buy a real bleeder, a power bleeder. Power bleeder. So this is bleeder, whatever you want to call it. For so. the shop, man. Yeah. Shop tools. Shop so tools. Take a little rip over to AutoZone. Get ourselves a nice little vacuum bleeder so we can get this done quickly, and then uh, see what's going on with the brakes. So hopefully this thing's gonna make some real mile an hour. It needs to be able to stop. Yeah, I think it could do like 65, 70 in the 500 feet. So yeah, yeah, probably, man. Probably it's two wheel drive. It's gonna hinder it coming out of the hole a little bit, but when she gets rolling. <laughs> I'm so move. excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's grab this power bleeder. Heck yeah, dude. Powder bleeder. Or big horns. Listen, I'll bleed the brakes. We'll send somebody out. Yeah. Just realized we didn't get friggin' monsters. We always get a monster on NOS when we're at AutoZone. It really gets the vibes going. Yeah. Okay, what do we got, Doug? What'd you buy? OEM tools. Those are the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's made by Can Am, dude. I mean, it was or wait, no. What are we working on? Arctic. It's like uh, no, Ryobi colors. <laughs> it's uh, it was thirty-seven dollars though. So hopefully it's not junk. Wow. Actually, it matches the unit pretty good. That's why I bought it. Nice man. So what this is, if you guys don't know, basically this is a vacuum pump, and it creates a, a vacuum within this, and this is where all your fluid, I guess builds yeah you exactly you just you know out. so you're just drawing the fluid from the master cylinder through the lines from the caliper so you hook up to the bleed screw on the caliper you draw a vacuum on and it pulls the fluid through to get the air out and then the fluid that you pull out just collects in this reservoir so you pull a vacuum on the reservoir the fluid runs into it once you're not getting any air bu bubbles you lock it down you move on to the next one so boom you can do it, you know, quickly, one person. Yeah, and ideally this uh, fixes the problem. So we did notice that there's probably a leak on the master cylinder, which can ideally be cured by just continuing to add fluid. And we won't let it leak down this far again. I mean, it feels like an okay tool. Look at that vacuum you're building up. 15 inches of mercury, dude. Heck yeah, man. So there's the, uh... oh, we got spare seals. Look at that. Wow. Good unit. Right, so there's not one in there currently, or is there? Hello, Dugness, my old friend. <laughs> What's up, dude? We're bleeding. Breaks just once again. <laughs> so yeah, we had to send Nick out for some things. Get some energy drink. We need some power in here, dude. Get him out of the shop. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we need a peace and quiet more like, dude. <laughs> so anyways, we got this sucker set up. You know, pretty simple little deal here. Pull a vacuum. With the reservoir in there and then uh, you just attach this sucker to the end of your bleeder screw so we had to kind of cobble a setup together on this because the bleeder screws are super tiny mm -hmm. but basically we're just going to crank this thing up but you can already see it's pumping some out of yeah. there pull a little vacuum on it crack your bleeder screw loose and then see the fluid coming out wow. so you know that'll collect in the reservoir just keep a vacuum on it do that for a bit so it should Maybe. be a, a, a solid flow once all, everything's out of it though? Probably won't actually get a solid flow because this is a real large, yeah. you know, real large tube. Pumping a lot of oil but, through there. Yeah, we'll just get, you know, a good amount of fluid, enough that we think we've gotten fluid all the way through the line and through the caliper. Tighten it back up, retop off the uh, master cylinder and go to the next one. So usually do the longest line first. So usually go to the back corner, do the backs and move up front. Mm -hmm. but pretty simple deal, so. Cool setup. Couple minutes, hopefully we'll have some breaks here. Yep. So we're still pumping. Uh, we're getting some feeling back in the pedal. And that's pretty much it. We're getting there. We're on round two. Pull a little more fluid through, so brakes are at least functioning again. Yeah, that's true. She's an old girl, man. She sat in the she sat in the back corner of a lot for who knows how long. Yeah, somehow all the brake fluid in the whole system just disappeared, despite not really having any super obvious leaks. Yeah. So, it's a bit of a mystery, but... Yeah, we're getting there. Hey, you know they banned that in Michigan, right? You can't be vaping anymore. Oh, I thought you were talking about... I'm gonna get all my so vapes in, dude. tough on a freaking Friday, dude. It's not even, oh, dude, <laughs> it's not even Friday. You, dude. It's not even Friday. It's, Where's that new uh, brake uh, fluid we bought? The brake fluid? That's new. I put it in a weird spot. Let me think about it. Right there. I put it right there. What? Perfect. Is it what? Is it Wednesday? 
Thursday. Today's Thursday, unbelievably. What? Yeah, I am yeah. so confused with days. I just feel like... Uh... Oh, yeah, I put out a video this morning. <laughs> anyway, having said that, we um, basically determined that that vacuum bleeder is junk. We pulled about a gallon of fluid through the system with it. And the uh, pedal just still sucks, so we did one final bleed manually, and now it works great. So, what are you going to do? Tough break. We have a vacuum bleeder now, though. That was $38. Thank you, everybody who watches. It may have helped start the process. I think That's it starts a good point. the process, you know. It's a good point. But at the end of the day, my strong right foot. Yeah, flat, man. Really allows the pressure to be placed equally on the pedal, which is important. I think we should probably drive this thing though to make sure the brakes work. All right, everyone, hop in, dude. We only accomplished like one of the three projects we set out. Yeah. Oh yeah, we this should watch this. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Hey. There's okay. a LED somewhere around the whole machine. Watch this. Look at this right here, Leo. Sure. I don't actually see him. Anyway. Okay, good point, Doug. We should probably get the rear fender. Let's get the fenders on. And we fuel wash thing. It up. We still gotta get the radiator. Should we test? I feel like we should wait until the thing is done and then the <sighs> rip Dang it. at the end. So pay off. Dang it, you're right. He's totally right. So right now for our fuel uh, nozzle cover, we just have a. <laughs> <laughs> it works, okay? But there's no fenders on this thing, as you can tell. So we need to get the fenders on. We need to integrate the fuel thingy to this. And life will be good. We need to definitely get rid of this large zip tie and this piece of radiator hose. Whoa, whoa, God, dude, wheel. that's a custom <laughs> setup right there. That's there, a man. super custom setup. Nothing uh, applies the pressure, so let the, let the fan run. Without this, we'd have nothing. <laughs> that's a good point. All right, I'll go get the fenders. All right. You want to defend to get the fenders? <laughs> See what happened there? Defender? Hey, you want to... Defend to defender, get defender. Get, the, get defender. Get defender. You're driving, man. Drive I can't drive this. Man. Can't have can't have more mad at us. It's hard. So drove while video. Come on, Nick. What are you doing? Nah. Defend the garage. We'll be back. Yeah. You defend the garage while we take the defender to get defenders. I better not run over Daniel's helmet again. again. Oh my <laughs> God, that'd be a tough break. Uh, Turning radius is where you purposely, purposely went out too far. Yep. All right, so here's all the stuff that we need. Here is part of the rear fenders, and then there's the rear shroud. Oh, I remember why we didn't put this on. Yeah, because it didn't. It wasn't going to integrate with our radiator setup. I think we should just take it up there, cut those off. Man, that's going to be a tough break. Figure out how to that. get them in there. I don't even think that's a tough break at all. Okay. Is this a nice part? No, not really. UTV ink, man. That was so cool in 2014. All right, I'll carry this one. Okay. What's tough about this is that the graphics are still on that stuff. We'll just remove it. Wow, the difference between the... Oh, yes. there's a sticker over... This is a sticker. What? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. No, it isn't. This is just some bad shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that a sticker? Anyway, we found the other fender. Doug's uh, <laughs> currently figuring out some sort of hardware to hold this other one on, mm -hmm. which still has the original wrap, which I think we're going to keep the roof wrap because that's a nice homage. I think so. Came from. Yeah, you can't pull off yeah, but these fenders. Just black on the sides. As you can sort of see what it looked like. It had the honeycomb. That was pretty cool. So we're trying to figure out what we should do with this filler neck. So the stock pickup for the filler is right there, but we're not totally sure we want to use this. And if we were to relocate the filler, we would get it away from the exhaust, which would be a good thing. I don't hate that at all. Oh, yeah. we send it. So I've ended up adding graphics to everybody's shirts via the peeled off graphics. Yeah, really nice. It's like, it's like a, like like a, a thunder Viking, jacket. Yeah. That looks like that, what do they call that? Like kinetic tape? Yeah. 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 We're athletes. I got a nice one on too, pretty <laughs> sick. But yeah, we're working on these fenders, got the fenders on. Still trying to figure out what to do with that fuel. Thingy. Time to make the call. I think there's probably a nicest solution with cutting things to make the radiator, reusing the top. But then there's an easy solution, which we can also claim is safer. True. It's probably outweighing the one that's more work. Yeah. Let's hear that. Basically, just put a different elbow on that. Yeah. Mount that sucker back there. We still have this on super three, trick. We 
Okay, all right, what Vote are we gonna for say? for easy solution. Or hard. We'll say easy or hard on three, okay? Okay. One, two, three, easy. easy. Yep, all right. Yep. Dang, it's all unanimous. Right. <laughs> unanimous. So maybe we could use this elbow on this, just to kick it up here, and then yep. we'll just, uh, yeah, put that thing in and be done. 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 How is the, <laughs> how's that fill up gonna work? <laughs> maybe like that. Just That's trick. Really? That looks trick. I mean, you really gotta get it. Because if you fail here, you're, you're pouring a fuel. pretty bad error. Yeah, right on the exhaust. Takes me back to Baja. You know, yeah. Filling up. Chains truck. Yeah. Spec trophy truck right over the exhaust in the middle of a race when it's still running. Yeah, because a 450 horsepower LS engine needs friggin' three inch dumps on both sides. <laughs> yeah, right. For that maximum you, airflow, Leo, get with it, dude. Definitely can't make that kind of horsepower with a muffler. Dude. So anyway, that's the uh, new fuel setup. And this is the new fender setup. I shouldn't say new, this is what's been on there the whole time. Yeah, man, we got a couple screws in it. We got some trick ties. <laughs> uh, trick ties. <laughs> Nick's unfortunately picked up the word trick. I don't really know where that came from, but. Hey, saying you a lot. No. Hey. Trick. Can't stop saying it. <laughs> All right, we got fenders, we got brakes, we got that thing. Listen, radiator will come later. Time for the fire up, and then a movement, and then a wash, and then a rip. Come on, baby. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up, hard to say. Brakes are working? Well, we're washing the old unit up here, and as Doug just realized, it's pretty much all dust. There really wasn't any dirt on this thing except for the little bit of driving that we did. Just a little bit of water, she spits right up. Now, if we know anything about foam cannons, it's that they get us 300,000 views on our other channel. They're super fun. So come on. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Towels out and start rinsing this bad boy. You ready for towel life? Nice! Well, as you guys just saw, we foam canned her, came in, did a little hand scrub a doo on her, covered up all the uh, important electronics, aka the dash pack and the air filter with a uh, little Ziploc action. Weird, the fender looks like great. Turns out we should not remove the stickers on those fenders. I don't think huh? we did it there, but <laughs> regardless. Put some stuff on there and make it black. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look great. So what do you think about Nine Life, man? It's coming around, man. It's still at that stage in its life where it could go one of two ways. Like it could take a downward, you know, it could go on a downward spiral at any point. Or it could really surprise us and work really well. And we could not, you know, decide to do some crazy engine build. Know, make 600 horsepower and do real fun stuff. So. We'll see. We'll see. I'm feeling better about it though. I think the attention today. Yeah, it really helped. Uh, really, really helped. Really needed and really brought it a long way. Yep. Well, nine lives is clean and we're waiting on a radiator. So this is probably going to be the end for today's video. Oh. Uh, or today in the video, okay, but we're not okay. done with the video. We'll be back <laughs> literally seconds from now. But it'll be hours to days for us. Yep. You guys want to do a co snap till tomorrow? Should we do something crazy? Yeah. I don't know. 
What should we do? I don't crazy. Like doing crazy things on video, dude. Like what? Hold on, ready? Hold on yeah. one second, ready? Days later. Days. Weeks. Months. Years. Here, Actually, just days later. Here we are, man. We finally got the radiator. So, our friends at uh, Be Cool. Yeah, did we talk about this? I don't think we did. I think so, we mentioned we had a radiator coming. But So, alright. Quick, quick thing. Where we're from is where Be Cool's headquarters are at. Right. And we know Pretty people neat. that know people at Be Cool. And so, they put this badass sweet don't really know the specs on it radiator together with this giant fan it's built for this we took yeah. the machine over there measured them up talked about you know the requirements and this is what they came up with so we picked this bad boy up yesterday and it is sick like it's, it's a, <laughs> a really nice, nice radiator. radiator man they even gave us a billet freaking fill cap Can you believe that you gotta be cool man nothing wrong with that yeah so super neat that's that this is probably not how evo had intended on mounting the radiator but they, the bungee cord, you don't think? I'm just saying like the angles. <laughs> <laughs> also the bungee cord though. I uh, think they were into having it like flat in the stock location, which is good on them. But for us, we're just trying to send this thing hard. Yeah, they were gonna reuse the bed and all that stuff. So we're gonna put the radiator, executive decision I made this morning on my own, <laughs> just all the way up there, keep it, you know, free from the top of the engine so we can reach everything super easily. It'll keep it up in the air, so. It's partially mounted already. Just whipped up a couple little brackets. You know, we tacked them into the bar there. And then uh, we're gonna put a couple tabs on the bar Boom. here with a couple more little brackets that'll pinch it against that bar. We'll put, you know, rubber foam on stuff and she'll be mounted. It's so gonna work great. These just, you know, these adapters, these are hydraulic hose adapters. So just FYI, that's not <laughs> actual be cool equipment. We know yeah, we got well, that from the local auto parts store we're gonna see if we yeah. can make those work but will they work will they not work who really knows but see. what i do know is that i'm really excited to get this thing finally mounted up and get this thing ripping and out of literally nowhere <laughs> it just comes up what's up it's pretty awesome have Looking you seen fresh, the radiator man. yeah what what Holy is this moly. i had to take care of my stuff i was looking like a <laughs> werewolf dude i like it man looks good thanks dude Listen. that's uh, pretty awesome Sick, i didn't right? hear you roll up what? are you in a different car no, I'm in the oh, Raptor. Man, I saw the Raptor. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah. I'm just so focused on. I'm focused you. on that lives, fool. I just want to live again, fool. <laughs> Dang, look, would you look at that? Yeah, those there are. Oh, eh? Oh. Spall, dude. Spall, dog. Nothing Be like. Cool. Good stuff, man. Yeah, we already talked about that. That's the billet cap, though. Check that out. Take that off, man. You're going to really enjoy that. I just want to feel the mechanism work. Like, I think the. The, the brackets are very lightly tapped. So. Oh, okay. Well, the neck. <laughs> Be gentle. The neck and everything here is all built too, which is <laughs> super cool. Like that's all machined. Really, really nice stuff, man. Look at the welds too. Gosh, just yeah. stacking up dimes. Stacking up dimes. <laughs> yeah, she looks so sick, right? <laughs> she just we should cut out that crossbar, dude. It's in the way, dude. <laughs> Let's just get rid of it. No, it just looks like e cool. Dang it. Fortunately, we're Sorry, using guys. that crossbar to mount the radiator, so. Son of a witch's tail, dude. We can maybe cut the middle out. That's okay. I think it looks really good. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, what else do we have that's that's news? Anything? Not on this thing, man. We washed it. Not sure if we talked about that before. That was all on video, video, man. Okay. Yeah. So actually, yeah. it got dusty just being out in the BSU. Yeah. BSU is a harsh environment. Harsh. A lot of sand, dude. She's sand. Un she's an unfinished storage unit. She's untamed. So. Yeah, finish this uh, radiator mounting up, get her plumbed, and then uh, breathe some life back into this thing. Nice. I think it needs to be sent today. Maybe it needs to be sent today on giant paddle tires even. Not sure. I think we can put giant paddle tires on it. It's no problem. It's worth thinking about. Think about it. One other update I want to talk to you guys about is my little pupper here. I haven't had her on video in a while. But my friend Alex over at Urban Roots, remember him with the Ice Cream X3? Yeah. The CBD guy, he sent us a bunch of CBD stuff for the pupper. And she's been eating that for the past little while. She's shaking off because she's nervous to be on camera. I don't want to be on the YouTube. But uh, yeah, it really helped her out. And she's a little more spry than she used to be. So really excited about that. Thank you, Alex. Check that out. Listen, boys. What are you doing, Leo Daya? I'm Lebediah here. Lebediah, what are you doing? Is, uh, wow. Those are Look at really those. Nice. Those are actually super, super, super nice. Super nice. Anyway. Um, no Limit, baby. We Is that what that's for? No Limit Soldier. Part of the, uh, what, what gang is that? Uh, Rough Riders. That's P's gang, dog. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, Master P. Hey, let Wait, me talk to Pete. Uh, let me hear you say, uh. <laughs> anyway, though, uh, we're taking the big horns off. Why? Why? They're great tires, right? Well, They're great all, tires, but in two-wheel drive? Yeah. Mm. This thing doesn't have four-wheel, and we're honestly afraid of smashing the front drive line if it did have four-wheel. So we're going to take these off for something a little more aggressive. Which right is? now, one hand, we have the spider paddles. The other hand, we have the Pro Armor 30-inch paddles. I'm not sure where we're going to fall. We haven't made a decision yet, but... Uh, 30? I thought they were going to 32s. I don't know. There is no 32 in a 14-inch rim. Yeah, I don't know, man. Plus, the 32 is not going to fit. That's only a 27. -inch. That's a great horn, dude. Anyway, having said that, this thing's getting some new, bigger paddles for the back. Doug's obviously doing a bunch of welding. Dog's doing a bunch of sleeping. And we're about to do a bunch of ripping, dude. Pretty excited. Look at that sucker, dude. That's a <laughs> real beadlock, dude. So this is what they used to do before you could get beadlocks for everything. Look, they have that ring too on there that they just started implementing in other brands. So yeah, I think they probably did a weld here and then came in and machined it. Rough, yep. And on That's the inside, cool. you can see the, wow, regular weld. Wow. Pretty neat, man. Pretty That's old neat. school tech. This thing was built, does it have a date? It doesn't have a date, but. <sighs> no, it doesn't. But those are probably built and 12 or 13. Yeah. Like that's old school stuff, man. Yeah, overall pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Dang, oh. so we're here. <laughs> oh yeah. So we got the uh, Pro Armor Battles off Doug's Wag Z. And we mounted these to Hyper Wheels. We didn't really talk about this yet because we just didn't have time to put the video together, but boom, they're on Hypers. They're coming Hype. off the Hypers though. Hype doggy dogs. Doug is getting some real paddles, but Something for right now, else. yeah. So in Sam's Stripper 2000s, dude? Yeah, sand. sand blasters. Exactly. Sand grits. Look at those suckers, man. That is just a very aggressive tire. My confidence that it's going to fit, I got to say, is not super high. Yeah, just back here with Lubadaya. Labid Loco. Labid Loco, dude, just locking tires. These are real big. We have Craftsman's new tire mounting apparatus. <laughs> it's slick, actually. That yeah, works so well. You just spin it and go. The no limit wheels have a machined center cap that's actually not removable, so. Can't uh, put it on the tire machine. Which is unfortunate. Do, 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 do. I mean, they look awesome, but. Oh. She's got to go a ways. Yeah, that can go up a lot. This side's no problem. Wow, that looks so cool. It looks dude. awesome on here. I think the other side is real trials and tribulations. Oh, we're good. Man, yeah. Even if we end up needing to get rid of that. Things basically used. Tons of room, dude. Nailed hundreds, it. hundreds of spaces of room. Hundreds of spaces. Wow. Just back. Doug, come over here. <laughs> I'm having like, a hard time pulling out far enough. This that's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Basically made this thing look ten times tougher. That's yeah, what I'm talking it about. It looked like a big, uh, like, thin hot dog before, and now yeah. it looks like a hot dog with some big-ass tires in the back. Yeah, with cranberry <laughs> juice. I don't. You do like cranberry vodka. I know you do. So it's time to put some coolant in this bad boy. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, Coolanto. Getting deadly close to running this thing. And I really just can't stop thinking about two-step on these giant paddles and turning the XP1000 transaxle into mush. Into mushery. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to see an explosion? I think it's actually a built transaxle. You think so? Yeah, they did a lot of crazy stuff with this unit. And uh, it's got Turner axles. You kind of have so. to, right? Yeah. And Doug, if you guys didn't notice, is wearing the Evo hat that we found in the car. <laughs> he, he looks like he's out of the movie Sandlot, dude. I decided I needed to really channel the power of the 2014 Zacones for this project. Channel yeah, man. The Zacones. Yeah, it turned out, so. You guys are sharing sweat right now, dude. It worked. I'm ready, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it is friggin' time. Heck yeah. Fire this thing up, we'll go warm it up, make sure everything's good. Nothing leaking too crazy. I think, you know, we'll probably go ahead and make a pull on like the second setting, a little lower horsepower, just to make sure everything feels good, and then we'll crank it up. See if we can beat that uh, 548. Yeah, there should be no problem with these tires, so. That's no problem. Man, you probably gotta get this thing moved, eh? Oh, we're Freaking. taking this, I just washed it for us. Oh, nice, dude. Can't wait for that. Yeah, 
for the first time ever. Nine lines in its final form. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! This thing's a monster, dude! I am so excited. Look at that radiator, dude. The radiator is insane. The paddles are freaking insane. The whole car is freaking insane, dude. It's got like a real like drag racer look yeah. too. <laughs> Sucker's gonna rip. Heck yeah, it is. Just driving normally, those paddles are churning the ground. How close is to the drop? Yeah, that's gonna do some self-clearancing for sure. Clutches sound ridiculously that bad. That thing is crazy. Are you gonna send it or should we check it? I think she's ready, man. Take a quick look, and make sure it's not spewing. No, I think it's good, dude. Yeah, it's good. It smells good, so. GoPro it's, running? This is setting two out of four. Alright, give her the launch control beans, Duggo. <laughs> Basically, just destroys the ground. What a ridiculous machine! <laughs> like, look at, look at the. I mean, yeah. It just freight trains. Like, it's yeah. not. The motor doesn't rev super high, so it doesn't like seem like it's doing a lot, but it's just exploding away. <laughs> yeah, that's a great car. Sounds like it could use more power, though. Yeah, I think it's time to really let her let her rip. We'll see what Duggo has to say about it. What do you think, Chris Mullet? Interesting, man. It's uh, it didn't feel really fast, but I mean the RPMs were good, the air fuel looked good, so. You ready to bump it up? I'm ready to bump it up for sure. Yeah. But honestly, I'm not positive we got to 60. It didn't seem like it was going that fast. No, no, it wasn't. We need to go ahead and turn the power up. <laughs> yeah. We Not could be. Sure. I mean, there could be a lot of spinning as well. a different car Three completely. It was a different car. Look at these holes. It's just yeah. Just digging. Yeah. Like that's like a 10 inch wide freaking more okay. than that. That's like a foot and a half wide. Okay. Death now hole. it's serious. I like that it was on the rev limiter the entire time. <laughs> well, I'm curious to see if he wants to go to setting 4. What do you think? I think yes. It's a classic one uh. Great. Everything looking good? How's the, the engine temps? Would it be cool? Temperature's doing good. Yeah, everything looked okay despite it obviously popping and missing, which is not great. That was just rev limiter, you brother. Know, probably rev limiter. That was like 8,500 RPM. So that, that must neat. be about where the limiter's at. Four or three seems to uh, be where, the, where it's at. Yeah, it's going to populate right now. I can hear it. Yeah, so I think, you know, probably doing a lot of spinning. It doesn't feel like it's looking very good. So what was the time? 578. That's not yeah. bad though. So, for changing know, nothing on the car. It's pretty wet out here. You're finally getting some holes where you're in dirt. Right. So you were on grass before. Yeah, yeah. and obviously we're gonna have to get in and do some real clutching on this, you know, yeah. on this thing before we there's a lot more power by just switching this knob, but I mean we're on a rev limiter all the way down setting three, setting four. <laughs> you want to just be, see what happens? Not going to be better. I'm not against seeing what happens. Yeah, just, just see what happens. Just for funsies, but I mean, it's, you know, we can do the clutch. It's just a stock Articat clutch, so we Let's have to. Let's see Yeah. Four. All right. That does not.
not look healthy. I don't understand. You know, what? I don't understand. Why don't you watch it when it takes off and see if it's doing that? So this is going to be setting four. All right, I'm ready for this setting four here. Let's make this happen. All right, you're in the launch pit. Interesting. No launch control, that was weird. Where'd the launch control go? Is it possible the switch works backwards? No, because one had way less power. Yeah, four is too much power. Yeah, we still have that three. Ah, hey, just go off the friggin'. You can just go off the gas pedal. I mean, that thing's gonna spin so bad. It's ridiculous. sound good that didn't seem to be the big power I don't really understand what those knobs do yeah at this point that machine being you know oh yeah dude nice little power slide the better part of like six years old there's a lot of mystery misunderstood yeah. things that occur things I don't really understand but is he gonna do a donut god I hope so No sway bar life donut, hardcore. <laughs> so, so setting four didn't seem to have more power. No, so maybe we're confused about the switch and how it works. It's not labeled, obviously. This is prototype level stuff, but setting four actually felt like setting one in terms of the lack of uh, launch control. And also the RPMs were only like 8,000. It was cutting in and out. So something funny going on there, but. Yeah, whatever. Uh, setting three seems to be the star of the show at this point. We got launch control, we got power. We obviously need to put uh, a bunch of weight in the clutch and get it clutch <laughs> for that kind of power. Yeah, it's just not really working. They actually stayed pretty clean despite just being subjected to all the goobly glock. I mean, the roofs on the last one were pretty, they're big. I mean, you were basically, there was a trail behind you the whole entire track. Okay, okay. So that was cool. Yeah, you're pretty much just burning out the entire track. Yeah. How do we get this thing hooked up? Not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Maybe we're actually going to have to put four-wheel drive in it. Yeah, the answer would be four-wheel, but that front drive line scares me. Yeah. I A lot of power. I feel like it's really ready for launch control. But... Heck no. <laughs> Anyways, man, there she is. Obviously, lots of tuning to do, but we got, you know, a month until race day. She looks pretty good. She runs pretty good. Maybe we'll do some cool graphics on it. You know, I don't know. Spend some time. We'll get it clutched to handle the power maybe drop a bunch of air out of the tires try to get her hook up some more and uh you know stayed cool that was a big thing yeah stayed yeah. perfectly stayed cool, cool the whole time yep that's that was yeah big. i mean it's barely even warm yeah no temps were temps were great so so thank you, know. you to be cool on that deal that was awesome yeah yeah thanks to the guys at be cool for uh you know getting us that sweet radiator that allow us to actually work with this thing obviously thanks to the guys at evo for uh you know allowing us to take this car and finish it basically so Thanks to you guys for being with us as always. You know, we really appreciate it. We have a great time doing this stuff. We wouldn't be able to bring this stuff to you without you guys watching and subscribing and buying parts on Patreon. Or <laughs> <laughs> if you could buy parts on Patreon, it'd be cool if you did that. But donating on Patreon, <laughs> buying parts on the parts site. Just thank you guys so much. If you uh, enjoy this kind of stuff, please stick with us. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to get this thing, you know, dialed in and make her what... Uh, she's capable of being and then we also have a bunch of other very very cool stuff coming along these lines so crazy ideas man crazy ideas are happening people are doing them people are going to do them and hopefully you guys are going to be here with us 
Ideally, ideally. Well, until next time, brothers. Couple days, guys. We'll see you then.